Hemisphere Radio, the best show on the internet that you are currently watching or listening to. Oh, hey, everybody. My name's Ryan. Uh, no intern here today, uh, so it's just, just me. Um, this is like part four of uh, a Meerkat series I, I've been, I just kind of stumbled upon into, um, and I was happy to do so. Uh, so for the past four week, three weeks, we've been having this random people that I've met on the internet on Skype, and it seems like a horrible idea. Uh, it seems like it could stumble upon lots of lots of bad things. Uh, and fortunately, I have. Um, I've made a lot of awesome friends on the Meerkat. Uh, they're all here with me on Skype, and um, so I should introduce them. That would be the proper thing to do as I switch to their camera. Uh, I'm here with, we'll start from the beginning, Stiletto Supermom. How are you? You may be muted, but you're definitely muted. You're muted. Oh, I, I muted you. That was my fault. <laughs> I, I, I was telling me I was muted. I, you, you muted her. You, you muted her. You know what, I can't work like this. <laughs> they can all hear her, too. They're like, what is he talking about? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got Slotto Supermom. Like what up, what up, guys? Uh, also, uh, returning is uh, Herbie... Herbie, do you want to pronounce your last name? So I, I know I can do it. Mirren. You could do it. Herbie Marin. Herbie, Herbie Mirren. Herbie like, <clears throat> it's, the, it's the most like common like podcaster name ever, Mark Mirren, but I just for some reason I can't associate <laughs> it to Herbie. It sounds so weird. It sounds like Mark hey, Mirren's weird Father brother. Marin from that movie. From, What's the movie? Uh, what was that movie? Uh, Father Marin? It's a, not Poltergeist. Um, uh, Exorcist. Father Marin! <laughs> I'm already <laughs> terrified. Uh, also, also returning is Curly Sophia. Sophia, welcome. Hi, guys. How are you doing, Curly? I'm awesome. How is your cats? My cat is being a brat. I did ask you to bring a cat, so if you don't have them, at least in the room, you I should leave. I have a leave. cat shirt on. Okay, that's perfect. She couldn't you, be with me what's physically. the cat shirt? What's that? I want to see the cat shirt. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it says so cray in it, too. Cray cray. I got this at five and below. <laughs> that's awesome. Also, uh, well, let's introduce uh, let's introduce some uh, some new friends. It is uh, I don't think I know, I know one name is one I think is Rob and Vicky. No, Ray and Vicky. Yeah, yeah, Ray. It's one, it's one of those things. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> you I, call I know the La- one is Larry, Vicky. Though. Larry, good. Larry. Oh, who's Larry? <laughs> exactly. We've often wondered. <laughs> it's Rob. Is uh, the team the Funky Fairy, Mr. and Mrs. the Funky Fairy? Or Mrs. and Mrs. Funky Fairy, I should say. Not yet. Well, to me at least. <laughs> um, and also, we have uh, C. Bureau, my favorite uh, 25 year old. Uh, you actually might remember her from one of the, fir- the podcasts we did before that. She was giving us sex tips. It's, uh, it's Cheryl. She's going to love me. <laughs> hey the, that, that's her introduction. <laughs> Is the one who is the woman who gave me sex tips on my podcast? I did, I did. How are you doing, Cheryl? I'm great. How are you? So all of us are officially meerkat leaderboard errors, which I don't know what that means. Um, I think we've Either. discussed this on, on other on other platforms, but uh, so meerkat has this leaderboard sort of thing. So when you get to a certain amount of points, Tumble, Tumblr did this with Tumblrity, where they assigned you points uh, for amount of engagement level you you've uh, you've given. And uh, we're all we're all uh, masters to this throne, and uh, I don't know. I feel like a good question is, what does that mean to you? And um, let's start with let's start with Cheryl. I don't really know what it means. <laughs> Me I really good. have no clue. <laughs> this is uh, why I'm asking you. I'm not trying to like have a good discussion. I'm just trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, I just got enough points, and they show my name on the leaderboard. I don't know. That that's all I know. I think I, I think I think I'm a fan of Stiletto's opinion. Uh, Stiletto, what's your opinion? Um, She's been on every I'm, show, so. I'm personally a fan of how uh, Curly Sophia's, which is it's just more of a compliment than anything. Oh, Curly's. Um, yep, sorry. Yeah, it was Curly's. Yeah, and um, for me and you and a lot of the people that just started doing this, working with this app, it was just I had no idea there was anything like that until somebody told me. I think it was Sherry Lee who told me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Somebody, one of my watchers told me. I had no idea what that meant, and I still don't know. Curly, do you have anything to add to that? I know she re- re- reiterated on your point, but. Yeah, it's just a big compliment um, to know that there's a group of people in the world that actually likes me. 
um, to get me on the leaderboard. <laughs> That's the same thing for me. Someone likes me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have oh, friends. No. <laughs> so that's really all it is for me. It's not. Um, I don't care. It's not more like an ego boost, ego boost, or something of a sort. It's just like a big compliment that I'm liked by somebody in the world, mm-hmm. besides my closest friends and family that have to like me. <laughs> that have forced to. <laughs> Yeah. Team Funky Fairy? Um, yeah, we we kind of knew there was a board, but we never even thought we would be on that board and we never aimed to be on the board. So to suddenly be on it was like, oh, my God, we're on a board. And we're with all these people that we go in and see. And, and then we're mixing with these, you know, kind of podcasters, stroke meerkatters, um, personalities in some way, shape or form. And we're kind of like, how does that work? It's just amazing. Um, it does mean us to us. It does mean quite a lot in the sense of it. We feel a very much the same kind of principle is that um, I guess we feel loved by by people that that we've never really met, like seeing for the first time, talking to, and uh, sort of bridging that gap. And I kind of said a little while back uh, that. The email and communication has ruined it, and now we're kind of re-establishing our lives with people around us that that new connections. And I think from that point of view, it makes us feel, I guess, valued by other people that that people want to listen to us, and we have an opinion, and it's good to have an opinion. I think I think the thing is as well. When we initially started doing this, it was more as a as a, a sort of way of the funky fairy promoting the funky fairy. When we first started, that was my idea, having it in the shop. And then what it's actually changed into is a whole group of family and friends that I care about, that make me happy, that make me cry. Um, and it hit home yesterday. We weren't on air for about 45 minutes for, for, for lots of different reasons. We just missed 45 minutes. And we had a gentleman ring us from America to see if we were all right, to see if we were still alive, everything all right. And, yeah. and followed up with, I missed you guys. Yeah, I've had that experience too when I go on a two-day hiatus <laughs> and not like post anything like to let people know i'm doing something but i've had people like um where have you been <laughs> you can imagine when yeah. our office phone rang and, and there's this gentleman saying you don't know me but i'm you know and this is my username and i'm just ringing to see you know how are you guys because you know you've been missing for 45 minutes so they called your they called your home your 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 office line to he, s- he, he tracked down via the internet and then told us how hard it was to find our office number <laughs> and rang from america and said i'm so glad you guys are all right you're you're amazing and i know you're really busy and i i can see you obviously on your phones you're all working now and you know and what's more amazing oh. is the guy is actually blind That's so he oh, wow. so the guy he's, he's he's sight impaired and he listens to us all day long wow and he also amazing. definitely paid probably about ten dollars oh for God, that call yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it too but now all of a sudden I feel this duty to make sure I get up on time, no longer for school runs, because there's people waiting. You know, there's 15 people waiting on the feed to there's see what time we're getting There's 15 people on the internet that want to see me. It's yeah, awesome. they're waiting. When I walk into the office, they're already there. It's like, okay, what are we doing today? What are we making? It's, 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 it's I, I very can't, surreal. I can't walk around in my slack trousers anymore. I've got to dress up. <laughs> They like they even if you don't have the motivation yourself, they like add motivation into your life just because oh, it's like God, other okay. people want you to. And even if you're like, even if you just mentioned the idea yesterday, people will like bring it up. Like, hey, remember you were talking about it yesterday? And you can't like you can't sweep it under the rug. You have to be like, <laughs> yep, I said I was gonna do that today, and people will give me shit and like, hey, I thought you were gonna you said you were gonna go out to the bar today. And I'm like, oh God, do I have to? And then I'm going up to the bar because I'm, you know I, I I said I would. I you know I uh you know it's kind of like a little help, little nice little motivation thing for me. Oh. Um, the other shock we did actually get was that someone also rang us up, somebody else, to say, oh, oh you guys, um, you, you do such an awesome show, and how long do you rehearse for? <laughs> and and I was so flabbergasted when Rob said, this, this dude's rung up and said, we rehearse? What, what, this, is our, this is our life, this is day to day, and he thinks we're doing like some kind of performing monkey trick for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was so surreal. Herbie, what do you think about like? Okay, so back to the leaderboard. Like, what is the, like? What, what does Meerkat mean to you? Like, what is the? Uh, I think that's a better, um, more of a better question to even ask. Well, I, I I didn't know about the leaderboard until like I think day two or three, 
Um, I was, I think, uh, I think it was Andre Lindo Cafe. I'm not sure I could be butchering that, but um, I know one of the Meerkats said, "Hey, Herbie, you're killing it. You're on the leaderboard." And then that's when that that night I came home, I, I learned what the leaderboard was about, and I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't even know this existed." I mean, I knew that I followed uh, the top leaderboard people, but I thought they were just, you know, like the talent. You know, I thought that, you know, okay, well. You know, they're on the top. Maybe I should watch them because, you know, they're on the leaderboard. But I didn't know what it was and what it consisted of till like, later on. Someone in the chat room wants to know, uh, Vicky, uh, who made you cry? What's the story? Evan, Evan's asking. He wants the deets. Oh. He wants the details. Um, well, I have actually cried probably two or three times recently <laughs> in the last week, but for various different reasons. But I think the time when Nothing I... Nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the interesting thing about it was by the time I finished recovering from crying, because I couldn't really go anywhere, um, people were coming into the feed basically demanding to know who had made me cry. But um, I was taking over from Rob and I was streaming as, as normal and trying to do about three or four other jobs. And all of a sudden I saw... First, I saw Ben Rubin's icon pop up, and I felt, oh, my God, Ben's come to see us, and it's, it's the king of meerkat. What can I talk about that's not boring? Then Niv's icon popped up, and I'm like, right, okay, there's two of them. They're, they're watching. Let me try not to be too boring. And then Jeff Castillo popped up, and I thought, <laughs> oh, no. Damn, I Jeff. If we, I, as soon, and then Jeff went, um, so, guys, what makes the funky fairy happy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! He, yeah. And then and then that video. Uh, well, I, I guess it's coming. I guess it's coming out at some point. So you'll get to see me. All of you'll get to see me cry. So, um, and then everyone that came into the feed afterwards were like, "Who's upset, Vicky? Why is she crying? You know, <laughs> we want to go and see this person. Why they made her upset?" So, yeah, I'm sure you guys will get to see it all. Someone said in, uh, uh, I think it's Lila, it's just, I've actually, I'm just reading this, so it might be, uh, I've actually done a stream where someone missed their stream as a vigil for them not being there because of a work emergency. Maybe I shouldn't have read that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think she just said, like, people, like, are, like, you know, really dedicating their lives to um, catching the, catching this live, like, especially because it is so, it's, um, it's all, it's all, it's captured live, you can't really repeat, you know, the, the flow of the com comments, you know, unless you do it live, uh, even with catch, you kind of miss out on the live factor of it, um, mm -hmm. I think it's just really exciting for people. I'm really enjoying it, and I mean, I hope that stays, stays the same, I mean, I'm sure I speak, see for the other guys as well, I've seen the streams and stuff like that, and I think, you know, if you're going to, dedicate it and use it in your life you, you have to enjoy it and you have to embrace it i agree i agree you have to love I what concur. you're doing definitely if, if it starts becoming fun then i'm not going to stream anymore yeah That's exactly exactly yeah. I mean, we've had some, our first incident of, of trolls, and it's quite interesting to see the reaction, obviously, from the people that come into our rooms of, of uh, you know, Herbie and I have recently obviously had a couple of incidents, and it's almost like the bat sign goes up, and all of a sudden your feed goes up where about 15 people hear that someone is obviously being uh, inappropriate, and all of a sudden right. these people just, you know, tell them to obviously just, just go away. So it's amazing support. Yes, I yeah. agree. I definitely agree. I was like having a troll, and like someone who has never meant set, popped up in my chat ever before. So it's, I like I never saw this username before. They she goes, leave him alone. He's a nice guy. And like this person has never talked to me ever, ever, ever. Mm. But she like came out just to be like just like to defend me. I'm like I've never seen your username before in my entire life. And like that was just so amazing. Like I thought no one was in my room at the time. And like there was like you know fifteen people, but like it was getting to the point where the night was getting so long that I thought people either just kind of fell asleep with me on or something. But <laughs> I swear that I, I I fall asleep on them sometimes, so I feel a little bad. But it's just <gasps> I won't well, no, just once. It's just once. I'll, I can I'll tell that story too. But um, it's just, just so funny uh, that just people that I never would expect on uh, to come out and defend me did. Um, but how do you okay so. How do you, what was, like, how do you guys deal with trolls? Like, what is the most, like, what is the, what, how do you, what's, okay, so what is your guys' opinion on trolls? You don't have to talk about how you deal with them, because I think we all know, but, um, I don't know, what do you, how do you guys feel about the trolls? Haters gonna hate, or? Well, trolls. Yeah. Or haters gonna make you famous, because I think it is that, too. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's just individuals that, you know, want to be heard, and unfortunately, it has to be a negative way. Right. You know? Yeah. 
and they want to, you know, boost about it, you know, in reality, like, oh, I was on this person's stream doing this, this and that. And I got this, you know, X, Y, and Z reaction out of them. And, you know, it was just a big game for them. That's all it is. In my opinion, that's how I see it. I like the way Herbie handled uh, the troller he had the other day. Tell everybody how you did that, Herbie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was an interesting day. Um, I was at uh, PetSmart uh, outside, you know, uh, while the hunter was getting groomed. And uh, at first, you know, I, I, I've been, uh, I remember like a while ago, I, uh, a troll uh, said, you're gay. So I, I brushed it off. Hey, yeah, I'm happy. And then he, I guess they stopped. But this time, um, that person kept on going. And it was to a point where I took a page out of uh, Sloan Ked's book and said, you know what, guys, let's come together as a community and uh, let's uh, welcome him to the stream. You know, may maybe he's going through some issues, blah, blah, blah. But uh, long story short, I mean, I see um, them as computer glitches. They're binary to me. They're either one or zero. Um, and I let the people vote on that if they're one or zero. So once, once uh, that, that flag comes up and says, wait a minute. That's a computer glitch. You know, I'm not going to see them as a person behind the avatar. I'll see them as the binary um, code they are, you know, and they say, wait a minute, this has to be a glitch in, 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 in the system right now because, you know, this is not what this community is about. This community is about families, about, you know, uh, having each other's back, about positivity. So in the end of it, um, emotionally, I see them as a, a one or a zero, pretty much. They're, they're just binary to me. Yeah, I agree. People, cause I always, I always felt this way with school too. People are either gonna like cause I have the kind of personality that you're either gonna absolutely hate or you're gonna absolutely love me. And I don't want any people that like or feel like on the fence about me because I have such a such an out there personality that people have. I really don't give people a choice to whether they like me or like they hate me. Um, and maybe this might. Maybe I just have like I am kind of like. I, I try to stick to people's like niches and stuff. I try to like if people are have like you know, I try to stick with people that have the same beliefs as me. Like I try to, um, I don't know. I try to make a very very harsh first impression and to my detriment. But um, so and I, and I'm always like was so kind of used to trolls. Even with like at school and stuff, just people like almost like like the bullies are just trolls too. Um, but it's just and I, but I had like the best friends too. So it's like. I know I see that it reflected a lot in Meerkat, which makes me happy. I have to say, I learned a lot from Lydia. I saw um, somebody pop in um, about a week ago into Lydia's feed, and um, they were being quite offensive. And she handled it so amazingly gracefully, because obviously I saw the comment way before she got to it, so I was quite apprehensive. And she dealt with it with such grace, and like, you know, you, you're clearly in the wrong room here. There's plenty of other rooms to choose from. Uh, we're, you know, we're having a conversation. So it made me change my tactics so that when th these two people People came in at the same time and became quite personal, um, basically with my appearance and uh, uh, personal things. I thought I could have, back in the day, I probably would have got quite angry, but I thought I'm not going to because it matters not. They're hiding behind whatever they're hiding behind. And um, I just carried on. And of course, everyone else in the stream got quite angry at this, these individuals. And I said, just ignore them. You know, they'll go and do what they'll do and we're here to do something and, you know, they will just do whatever they'll do. I can't stop them, so we just have to ignore them and carry on. You've changed a lot over the last couple of weeks. A hell of a lot. <laughs> a lot more accepting. But what I've got from being a lot more accepting from these very few individuals is so much love from people all around the world that I could have never imagined um, people get an insight into the fact that we, Rob and I, do work 18-hour days. We're not doing it because we want to be in front of the camera. This is this is our life that all our staff see. So they really get a snapshot into the world of, of how a business, a small business, is run to, to be up against the big boys, up against the big brands. So, um, you know, you just got to deal with these people with grace and go, well, okay, that, that's what makes you, you happy. You know, I'm not going to air to, I try not to even read their comments out and I try to get anyone on my stream to just gloss over it like they're invisible. Stiletto, I know Stiletto likes to trolls, I think. A little bit, possibly. <laughs> there might be a little bit, a little bit of a, a troll fetish, possibly. I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, no, I, um, and I agree with Vicky. Um, I do agree with Vicky to ignore them when it gets to a point. When I was doing my marathons, I had every kind of troll. <laughs> I think I had all the meerkat trolls um, because I looked a ratchet mess and um, I had no makeup on and I was tired. By I was awake for 23 hours 
I mean, I had all in there. It was awful. But um, I look at it like, um, well, they're already in your room. Okay. So they want the attention. So I give them the attention. But I also flood them with attention for my viewers because I always tell them, you know, if you have ever had a problem with a troll and if you ever want to, you know, say anything, go ahead. My stream is for you. And people just start trolling the guy out and then they end up leaving. So, you know, it's just sometimes it's, it's fun. Like a lot of streamers that don't do that on their stream. They don't want to call them or bring attention. They do that on mine and it's fine because <laughs> because sometimes sometimes it's important to address them, I find, because um, then it um, because I think they get really sometimes some trolls get empowered by you ignoring them. So I feel like some this is my I would have been on Twitter for five years. So for me, I look at it like this is my chance to say what I need to say to a troll. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes it comes out depends on my mood. I mean, I mean, beef knows me long enough. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll ignore them. Sometimes I won't. It just depends. It really does. But if they ever touch, like if they, a lot of them, and I know, Vicky, what you were talking about when they get personal, um, not just about looks, because I really don't care what they think about my looks, but when they get, when they get personal about being a mom and being online and doing what we're doing, they don't understand how hard it is to actually, um, to do what we're doing. But also it's, I'm very passionate about bringing attention to independent artists. And um, so I won't stop that. Because a troll says I should. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's how I deal with them. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I also I, like, call it troll roasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you know, also, like, um, I also noticed that um, troll or not, like, there's people out there that are professional agitators. They go around <laughs> and they go, they go around looking for uh, people's open nerves because it gives them power and gives them like a little pleasure in their life saying, well, I'm good at doing this. I'm good at, I'm good at being agitating, you know. Absolutely. So, in the end of it, yeah, they're out there. I mean, I mean, I see them in the street all the time, you know, um, at my previous job also. Like, you know, they, they warned us. They said, wait, guys, you know, you guys got to watch out for these people. They're, they're professional agitators. They want to see you slipping and catch you riding dirty. So in the end of it, I mean, um, I can't break character, and I, I have to see them as binary until they prove to me they're a human being behind that avatar. Yep. Amen to that. Cheryl, how do you deal with trolls, or how do, what do you feel about the trolls? Troll feel, right now. Let's, do, let's give let's give some love to the trolls. Well, not really, but let's let's suffocate I, them. Let's either suffocate them or love them right now. I just ignore. I don't even read their comments, or if I accidentally do read a comment, I just keep going and go on to the next thing. I just, I no used to acknowledge the them. I used to get really angry with them and be like, you know, I would yell at them, like, why, why are you even here? And, you know, but then I found when you acknowledge them, they go more. So mm -hmm. I just pass them over and don't even ignore. I don't pay attention to them. She passes them to me. Send them to yeah. They like I do. Them. I do. <laughs> <laughs> she now does. You know where she to does. send them. It's brilliant. We can just say yep. you're not in the right. Bring them on. Off you go. Patrol roasting. Yep. Patrol roasting. <laughs> go see stiletto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's their job, right? That's their job to hate. That's their okay. job. So let them do that. We are the love. They are the hate, and that's how we know the difference. So let them do their job. That's their job to hate. Curly, how do you feel about <laughs> trolls? Um, I guess I just feel like they're just people that are bored. They have nothing else to do, and they're looking for reactions out of people. Um, as far as, like, what I do when I see one, um, I, just, I like to play with my trolls. I like to, like, pretend, like, even though they're, prob they're making rude comments to me, I still like to have some type of normal conversation with them Smearing at in them. a way. Like, do the opposite of stuff. Instead of yelling at them, I'll be like, well, hi, how are you doing today? And sometimes I'll have a change of heart and calm down and be like, oh, I'm so sorry for saying mean things to you. Or if they keep going, um, everyone else in the chat just starts going after them and um, defending me in a way. <laughs> or just to just ignore them and just keep going because they're, they're here to listen to what I was talking about before they really interrupted the flow of things. So... That's okay, so question from the chat room. Evan wants to know. Okay, uh, question. How many people have Meerkat cat sponsors yet? 
I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds sponsor. like no Zero. one. <laughs> Zero. 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 London. London zero. I, mean, I, think, I think they're keeping all the money for the app, you know, to build the app more. They're not giving that to us yet. No, I think personally, have we got sponsors? I think that's what he was asking, but... Um, also, no. someone at G- Genie in uh, says, Bad Beef, tell Rob and Vicky that from their adopted daughter on the opposite end of the scale that they've given me so much support and genuine care that I'll forever be, well, be forever grateful. And I think that completely that completely trumps the, any troll behavior. P- also, please uh, don't cry, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I just respond to that and just say, Georgina, it doesn't matter how much you come around us, you're still getting in early tonight. <laughs> I got a troll in here right now. It's great. Do you? That's, yep. What's the troll? Oh, Rob, stop now. Stop, oh, Rob. He's showing his dick. Whatever. <gasps> How is he? Oh, is it in, in emoji form? Yeah, it's it's hard to explain. <laughs> he's doing it with um with the, he's got an eight and he's got he's gonna love this. Yeah, I see it. I'm actually. You see it? it? He's doing yeah. the uh, the eighth grade penis penis yeah. things. That's the yeah, best thing yeah, about yeah. trolls. Are, oh, they, for me, they've always said the same exact 40 things over and over again. They think they're so unique, but I'm like, I if after a while, like you almost have to pay attention to them because they're all the same things. Like they're, every right. little, every exact thing they say is either like they call me like a goat effer or like mm-hmm. Amish or like weird, just like any combination. It's so it's so funny. They're very unoriginal. <laughs> so I like. About I them. love the way you handle trolls beef. How do I handle trolls? I forget. I just I lose consciousness when I a uh, troll comes into my room. I do. I black out. I do. I we, swear. We had he does. He does. started does. doing the alphabet. He started doing A, then B, then C. And somebody said, "Oh, here we go. Here comes a troll." And I went, "Well, you might as well be patient. We're only on C. We've got a bit of time to go yet." And he started going through every single letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's what, what do you mean on your end? That's what you guys do. You you do just do the alphabet. No, he would just literally type in A and then enter in it, then B, then C. Oh, yes. tr- yeah, people do that too. They'll say yes, 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 yes. Like, we're just like random things. Like, uh, yeah, I had no. someone do that with numbers. <laughs> There's a lot more numbers, unfortunately. <laughs> it's so funny because um, as we were talking about trolls, um, I have my people attacking a troll right now. It's hilarious. It's just too funny. <laughs> I've got... um. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's this is what I do. You know what I mean? Like they'll come to me. See, now that you guys sent them all over to mine, they're all coming in mine. But I don't have to do anything because <laughs> my people are like, really, really. <laughs> and he's just like, what do I say now? What do I do? Now? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now I don't know what to do because I got. Oh, here we go. Oh, he, okay. <laughs> it's okay. He can handle. We got um, Big Rick. <laughs> big Dick Rick on the case. Yep, he's ah, on it. Big, Rick. big Dick Rick one two three four is the anti troll. Yep, he's the best. I love him. All right, we have our first. Uh, we have our first uh, call in. Let's see how bad this oh, goes. Oh, right on. Oops, I screwed it up. See, I told you it wanted to wanted <laughs> to go well. <laughs> All right, let's see. Chicken soup. This is Mama G calling in. I'm watching all you lovely people. All right. Bye. That one awesome. Who's <laughs> that? Hi. Oh, that's funny. I think that's is Mama that G Betsy? in the chat room. Oh, she, oh, she's also in the chat room right now. She's. In, I'm convincing my hubby to get us new phones because I want to stream more. Addicted, she says. I am too. Yeah, that's the problem too. Like when I'm not streaming now, I get I'm just he- like heavily addicted to it. <laughs> How do you guys feel about like it's, I don't know? How do you guys stream? Because uh, the, the the funky fairy they stream like most of their work day, correct? Yes. Yes. And then yes. do you stream anything besides that, or? Um, I sometimes stream going to work, which uh, um, uh, Stony Green was getting very stressed with me this morning because we were going up the motorway into London and we were stuck in a traffic jam. Um, so people get to see London is not paved with gold. London comes to a complete standstill, and they all have to sit in the car with me, watching the traffic not moving. And, um, I, and I have to say, uh, through experience, do not stream taking your dog for a walk. The walking part is fine, but if the dog does anything, it's a nightmare trying to hold the phone and the dog. <laughs> it's 
pretty good. Yeah, I've just been, uh, whenever I have traffic, like, and I'll just, I'll be standstill. I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to mirror cat because I can't deal with this. <laughs> like, as soon as it starts picking up, I'm just like, okay, can't pay attention anymore, but it's like, it helps. And I feel, I'm, I'm like an almost, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm not mirror catting all day, but when I'm not a mirror cat, I feel weird. Like, if I'm not doing a podcast or a mirror cat, like, I feel like, like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I not recording this? I'm so un- I'm so uninteresting, but I don't understand why I want to record everything. Um, you're not uninteresting. No. Well, you guys are just you guys haven't found no. out. Yet. He's guys, the first. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. He's the first. You guys haven't one got fed I, up with I, my shit yet. Well, because you you do stuff. It's not you don't just. I mean, you sit there, but you don't. You actually do. You work and you you're focused. And the way I look at it is like I he was the first one that I watched, and it was weird. It was like the Truman Show. I was like. I'm actually what? unemployed. I just sit there on Mirakat and it's the, the fake phones, they're dummy phones. I get them from this from the store. They don't they don't have any innards. I sit there with fake phones and <laughs> But you know what? You're very engaging and I think that's what people love. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate that. With trolls and with fans. <laughs> yours are very nice to me. All right, guys, let me tell you about something I love. Um, again, this is patreon.com slash BRS, P A T R O N dot com slash BRS. For as little as one penny per week, per week, per week, per week, you can help uh, donate to the show. Uh, and it's pledge based, so you actually get some stuff out of it. You get early episodes for just one penny. For a dollar, you get uh, access to the, to the entire pre post shows. Right now, we're, you know, I forgot to record this, so I'm doing this afterwards, but they're still hanging out in the after show. You guys get a lot of awesome stuff. Um, over at patreon.com slash BRS. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash BRS. If you can't afford it, don't do it. But if you can't, it really does help us out. Um, help support the show for as little as a penny per episode. It adds up, and we have awesome, seven, currently right now, seven awesome patrons. Uh, by the time this is released, it might be more, but what's this hope? What's this hope? Uh, you guys are really awesome, and you really, really are helping support the show. Thank you so much. And we're back. We're hanging out with uh, with me mostly, but uh, I could I'm the only one actually in this room. But I'm here with uh, a bunch of awesome people. Um, you know, I won't say what their names are. I'll let them do it. Um, we've got Stiletto Supermom, even though I just lied and I said her name. Uh, Stiletto Supermom, where can people find you? Um, you can find me at StilettoSupermom.com. And my radio show is TalkLoudRadio.com. And I have a show coming up this Saturday. Herbie Mirren. Hey, guys. I'm Herbie. Hey. I'm a driver in New Jersey. Um, L-Y-F-T dot com for more information. And also, you can find me at my Twitter, at Herbie Mirren. Cheryl. She Barrel 1970. Hello. Hello. Um, you guys can find me on my Twitter at C Burwell 1970. And I usually stream a regular... Um, coffee chat every morning around nine o'clock eastern time so that's it i like that curly um i am on twitter i do my streams for meerkat around 10 30 11 o'clock at night eastern time and i also just created a facebook page um just for curly sophia um completely a public so you guys are more than welcome to go find me on there and add me and I'll be posting a lot of different other content as well but I'm on Instagram, Pinterest Snapchat, almost everything and uh, the Funky Fairy team where can people uh, find you? Uh, so we are Rob and Vicky so it's a bit of a potluck who you'll get when you'll get us uh, but we are at the Funky Fairy, and um, I am at Mr. Funky Fairy, but mainly at the Funky Fairy. Um, and we are also uh, doing t shirts online for Meerkat at meerkattees.com. So tell me, because okay, so I actually wanted to get into this too. I'm trying to think today. Okay, so did I, did, I, did I plug everyone? Not in the not in the fun way, but the. Uh, <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> These <laughs> are dirty. I don't. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, well, you guys can find me at Bad Beef at Bad Beef everywhere. Um, it's a place. It's fun to find me there. Um, you can find us at Beer Radio Show, B E E R A D I O S H O W. Uh, Beer Radio Show at Gmail dot com five eight six five seven four sixty one sixty five. Um, I kind of want to get into like what did we? Uh, how did we all get into the start of of 
meerkatting. Uh, what made us start? Um, I just want to start with Cheryl. I don't know why. Cheryl, what made you start with? Uh, <laughs> what made you start with old, your um, meerkat? I actually found meerkat through a coworker of mine. Um, through the company that I work for, Plexus. Um, she had just posted on Facebook one day that she was going to be streaming live on Meerkat. And I'm like, what, what is Meerkat? So I downloaded the app and checked it out and fell in love with it instantly. I thought this is the coolest thing since sliced bread, seriously. Um, just to have the ability to stream yourself live and um, make, make new friends, meet new people, and it just has kind of grown from there to where, you know, I've got a lot of people that follow me and um, have made some awesome friends in the, since I started, so. Uh, Stiletta, what made you start? Um, actually, I was just, I think I did a Google search on the top 10 apps, because I'm, I'm an app girl, I like to look at um, different apps, check them out. And then I saw the meerkat and I was really, and I'm going to be completely shallow, but I really liked the logo because it was cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's very cute. And I thought it was, at first I thought it was like a kid thing. So I was like, Oh, maybe this is something I could do with my, my son. And then it's definitely I saw, not. I, yeah, it's definitely not. It's not okay. <laughs> so then I, um, I went and I, uh, tried it out, downloaded it. And then I just read about what it was. And I'm like, this is pretty darn cool. And I do YouTube videos and I do Vine and Instagram videos, all that kind of stuff. So it just kind of fit. And it was fun. It was fun to do. And I liked the fact that it wasn't recording everything. Because I feel like when I, I did vlogs on YouTube, there's a lot of editing. So it kind of took away from the actual vlog, you know, but the real time. So I really like the fact that it's um, more real time. And I can talk to a lot of my Twitter people a lot faster and more instant. So, yeah, so that's why I stuck around. And then I met Beef and um, I met all these people here and they've been amazing. Amazing. I, I can honestly say that they're good friends now because I have no friends. <laughs> it, it no, is de that is definitely true. Like the Funky Fairy team is new, but I'm like slowly falling in love with them. But like you guys are like all my, some of my closest friends. Yes, because yeah. we love you, Beef. It's fun. I like it. Okay, it's getting too mushy. Stop it. I know. It's giving me weird feels. Stop it. <laughs> Everybody stop. Uh, Herbie, what made you start Meerkatten? Um, long story short, I was following Greg Monko on Twitter. Uh, his stream just ended. Um, I downloaded the app, uh, started watching some streams, and then I went into a uh, one person stream uh, who's from Tennessee. And um, I asked him a quick question on the comments. I said, uh, hey, uh, you know, how, like, what would you think about me streaming uh, being a Lyft driver in New Jersey? And he pretty much looked at the camera and said, yo, Herbie, if you do that, I would definitely watch. I was just on Periscope and something told me to get on Meerkat. And, um, and uh, if, if this was the reason just to meet you, I mean, definitely do that stream. No one's doing that right now. And then from that point um, on, on uh, about about four weeks ago on a Monday, I started. I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And it was a very productive uh, day. Um, I have no complaints. And then from there, it just stemmed off, uh, you know, till now where I met great people. I mean, you guys, you guys are definitely my closest friends at this point. This is, this is awesome, man. Um, I'll keep saying it, that Meerkat found me. And that, uh, you know, Meerkat's definitely, you know, part of uh, me now. So it's like, I need Meerkat. You know, so, you know, I definitely want Meerkat to be strong. Team Funky, the Funky Fairy, what made you start uh, Meerkat? Uh, uh, well, it, it, it's, in actual essence, it's quite a phenomenal story because um, I'm a big, huge, massive Gary V fan. And um, So who when, is Gary V? Because he was always in the top le of the leaderboard. <laughs> I, was, I, I was always following him, but I never caught his streams. He's um, in a snapshot. He's a multimillionaire. He's uh, run businesses from a young age, entrepreneur, up to he now runs Vayner Media, um, as well as Wine Library. Um, he's just his videos are on YouTube and Twitter. Um, I just found his uh, streams. I don't know, probably about a year ago, I'd say. Um, just enjoyed watching what he says about business. And then um, about a month ago, March, Rob went out to America. And then um, I was in the office on my own on a Saturday night, still working. And he was meerkatting his talk at South by Southwest with Jack Welsh. So um, I sat in my office 
watching this go on live through one of his guy's phones. And I thought, that's, that's absolutely awesome that we can actually see that. So when Rob came back from America, I was telling him about all the exciting stuff that I'd seen. I'd been around South by Southwest, like walked around with Mashable. And um, then I found out one night, literally about three days later, I saw Gary V tweet, I'm coming to London. And uh, I suddenly realized he was going to be at the same business event that I was going to. So I sent him a tweet saying, how about um, I come and I'm meerkat? Um, about an hour later, I get a tweet from, from Gary V saying, yeah, sure, you can come and hold my phone and meerkat to all my fans. So I said to Rob, I'm running around the lounge screaming, oh, my God, I get to meet my hero. <laughs> and then I have to hold his phone while, while thousands of people are watching what I'm doing. And uh, like, it, was just, it, it, just, it was just awesome. So there's me the next morning up at 6 o'clock in the morning to literally – go to this event and hold Gary's phone while he comes in. I meet him. I meerkat him on stage to literally, I think it was something it was like 2,000 people through his phone. And and I was just sold. I mean, he was like Cinderella. He was gone in a whirl. And I just thought, I've just got to use this app. And then I had to then spend uh, probably another two, three days convincing all the staff and Rob that, that this is it. I didn't this want is, to do it. This is what we're going to be doing. I was, I was dead set beyond... Any imaginable doubt, I didn't want to do it. Really? Why not? Wow. I didn't, I didn't want the camera near the house. I didn't want it streamed right. anywhere. I, I just, just full stop, didn't want to do it. And so Vicky started doing it in the shop. And I noticed that she started to come home happier from work. And I'm like, okay, are you having an affair? <laughs> and she's like, she says, yes. I'm like, streaming. with my phone. With my phone, yeah. <laughs> With my BFF, me and my BFF. Who is this? There's a dude in America. I keep talking to my BFF. And she said, "Well, you should stream." I'm like, "No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm grouchy, moody. Nobody would want to see that. It's not going to happen." And uh, it's, it's, it's really lifted us completely. It's changed. I think we, we lost track of who we were, and now suddenly we can be ourselves again because wow. we, we, we got caught in that mundane: go to work, come home, right. sit in front of the telly, get bored go to bed, do the same thing again and again and again. Whereas now we're constantly interacting with everybody and it's so fun. I feel the same way. It really kind of like, this is um, definitely part of like my healing process. Like I love being on Mirror Kit. Like it's so fun. Like it's kind of like, now I'm getting to the point now where I'm like not hanging out with my real friends anymore. But um, <laughs> it's just, I love, I love being on Mirror Kit. It's so, uh, so fun and liberating for me just to be on, be on yeah. here. Um I don't know how do you guys feel, Herbie. I'm sorry, I missed that. I missed that. What was that? <laughs> yeah, I was actually He's diving in right now. Yeah, I'm in Manhattan right now. Are you really? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm literally uh, Franklin Street and uh, Broadway. <laughs> Time is money. <laughs> but, yeah, busy, 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 man. But Herbie, you uh, did mention about how, or Betsy mentioned that um, how you, um, how it's helped you. It um, doing uh, yes. has helped you. Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, I, def it's, it's, I always say that Meerkat is part of my healing process, you know, so it's to a point where um, I've been more motivated lately. You know, I've been, uh, you know, uh, you know, I have accountability partners and it's to a point where it's like, you know, like, you know, I have my Meerkats having my back and giving me the motivation. So it's pretty much all my positivity people are feeling is just being reflected back to them. So whatever I'm receiving, you know, so it's like, you know, when uh, when I start revealing my history, you, know, you guys understand more. But uh, it's definitely a total opposite from what I was dealing with a few months ago. You know, premier cat. Mm. So it's, 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 it's a good story. You know, one day, you know, Absolutely. little by little, I'll reveal it. But um, in the end of it, like, like I keep saying to everyone, um, I just want to hold on to this feeling I feel right now for as long mm. as I can. And yeah. however I, I do that, you know, however, you know, I keep myself humble or whatever rules I make for myself. Um, you know, that, that, that'll be focused on me staying, you know, Herbie Merritt. That's it. You know, keep it just like that. Keep it simple and then let the people speak and I'll listen, you know, I'm the paintbrush and then you guys are the artists. So, you know, you'll, you'll never see an artist arguing with his paintbrush, you know, paintbrush is, a, is, you know, doesn't speak to you, doesn't talk back. You know, you pretty much are at the mercy of the artist. So I want to be that paintbrush for the world pretty much. 
Curly, how has uh, how has Meerkat helped helped or hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's helped me a lot. I mean, just to backtrack to your original question as far as how did I find uh, Meerkat, I also uh, found the app through Gary Vaynerchuk as well on the second mm-hmm. day. Um, I'm a I'm a fan girl as well, and I know exactly how it feels when he um, responds to you. He's really great at responding back to you. Um, even if it's just a simple uh, message or he'll do his question of the day. And he really does take the time to make sure that every single comment is either like or he's been res- or he responds to you. And, um, yeah, he responds to me all the time. And it's a great feeling. As busy as he is, mm. it's just great. Okay, this is, that's his little plug. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I found it through him. And originally I wasn't really 100% sure what I wanted to do with the app. Um, at the time I was starting my YouTube channel and honestly I just thought it was one of those new awkward apps and it was just like this little fab for like a week and it was going to die but I was actually just hooked to it um, and realized like wow I'm having like hundreds of people watch me for 30 minutes talk about like simple topics and I was like I like that and I don't get that type of engagement nowhere else but on Meerkat um and because of Meerkat, just to go back now to what you're asking me now, how how has it helped me for the good? Um, I made a lot of friends such as you guys. Um, even like as far as just people that watch me from all over the world, I know their name. I, I know where they are. I know what they do just by what we talk about all the time. And yeah, I, my Twitter game has definitely escalated. Twitter game. <laughs> <laughs> my Twitter like game that. is hard. Game. <laughs> yeah, my Twitter game has definitely like risen really quickly in the last two months. Then I would have not gotten um, if it wasn't because of Meerkat. That's true. So I haven't. There's nothing bad I can say that has happened. Just a lot of good, positive things. Um, yeah, my life is not boring anymore. I don't feel. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl, how has Meerkat helped or hurt you? Oh, it's definitely helped. Um, I think it kind of helped. I mean, I'm, I, I feel I'm a pretty outgoing person anyway, but it just kind of is an outlet for me. Um, it gives me the chance to um, express my opinions and just talk to people, get to know people. I've made some amazing friends on here um, from all over the world. And, um, of course, Chris, um, who sadly can't be here today, he's at work, um, he enjoys it, I think, more than I do. I really do. And he is at bit's end for it to come out on Android because he's got an Android phone. And he's just like, he can't wait. He's checking every day to make sure, you know, it's, it's not out. So Come on, just sneak him an iPhone. Of our life. <laughs> I try. He doesn't want an iPhone. He likes his Android. And I'm like, you you need to get over to the iPhone, but he won't do it. So I definitely have tried. But he, he loves he loves Meerkat more, I think, than I do. He He's just crazy. Cray cray. When the 6 Plus came out, there was coming uh, before it came out, there was rumors that the Apple employees wrapped it in like a Galaxy case. So just do that. Put like a little Galaxy case <laughs> on the iPhone 6 Plus and be like, here it is. It's just a much nicer Android phone. <laughs> hey, Beep, um, Sloan is in my stream, and he's wanting to know if there's any way he can jump into this or not. Yeah, let's add him in uh, right now. We'll see how well this works, doing something okay. on the fly. Sloan will be in here for the last few minutes of the show, but I'll be very happy to have him if this works, which I probably won't because he's not online. So let's, let's vamp even longer while I do this. Um, what was I going to say, though? Yeah, Meerkat feels like the same thing for me, though, um, where it, I really love that I can just not have to come down to the studio and you know do 45 minutes worth of work to get everything set up, do audio checks, everything. I can just click my phone on and I don't even have to, I can't even really test the audio. It's kind of nice. It's like, it's so freeing like to have, not to have to deal with stuff. Um, like on the technical aspect, it made, it's made it so much easier for me to meerkat. Um, I like it. I, li- I like it a lot. It's fun. Any, okay, so any weird, any fun or, or exciting or weird meerkat experiences? Um, we'll start with stiletto, maybe. My 20 topping pizza challenge. Yeah, so and, awful. And my, um, my, uh, what do you call it, marathons. So what was the first marathon you did? Okay, so, 
The first movies? marathon I did was 24 hours. Okay. And um, and I was just trying out the app to see how long it would stream for. And then um, and then that was over. And then everybody's like, oh, I thought you were streaming. And I'm like, oh, my God. Does everybody think I have to do this all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about that life. So, um, so then um, – uh, then I did the 20 topping pizza and this was all it like everything kind of morphed organically because I was in my room and I was just chatting with a couple of my, um, my regular, uh, viewers or watchers. And they were like, uh, they said, I said, what kind of pizza do you like? Cause I was ordering a pizza for my son. And so what do you guys, what kind of pizza toppings do you guys like? And they're naming them all off. And, um, I ordered my pizza and then I said, Hey, would this be a cool thing if I got all these suggestions and put it on one pizza? And it just organically organically bloomed, and then um, I wanted to throw up after I ate it. We have someone on the line. Let's see what the hell this works. Hey, person on the phone. Hey, guys. This is Mike at Ember Studio. How's everybody doing? Hi, uh, Mike. What's going on? I was, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you a message, but it's cool for you to put me on. Yeah, I had a question for everybody, if you guys don't mind. I was, uh, I've been streaming on Meerkat for a little bit now. I've done a couple of shows. And I noticed kind of early on, I, I made this mistake that I wonder if it's sort of an amateur mistake everybody makes, where I had either stuff on my screen that I didn't want to accidentally show people, or I did accidentally show somebody, or I had uh, a desk stream last week where I had some passwords written out on a piece of paper on my desk and accidentally panned the camera over to that and for a second showed some of my personal passwords. So hopefully nobody wrote them down. And I was just wondering if anybody kind of had similar experiences where you, you know, either said something or streamed something or pointed the camera at something that you kind of wish you could take back. Great, great question. Thank you so much, Mike. Sure, no problem. All right, guys. What do you? What, anything? Uh, anything weird on your end? So many things. It's ridiculous. So I was kind of into the point where we were going into like anything weird, anything weird or mistakeable. It's actually perfect, perfect question or perfect call to have right there. Uh, <clears throat> I think the only, the only one that we we had really was um, because this is our home. Obviously, we've got a, a seven year old daughter. And uh, she will often shout out, uh, "Can you come and wipe my bum?" <laughs> <laughs> so you you kind of have to kind of go, "Okay, in a minute." <laughs> got, at least Vicky is not asking you to do that. No, that's true. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> come on, you're allowed to ask once in a while. <laughs> what, what about you, Curly? Anything anything wild and crazy? <laughs> Oh yeah, I was streaming when I was back home in um, Indianapolis for a spring break. I was not sponsored by a KFC, but I was showing off the new rice bowls that they had to everyone. And my mom was in the background, and she was like bickering with my dad. Like you know how parents bicker, and and like for me, like I'm trying to have like a professional setting, and you hear your parents like griping at each other. I'm just like, can you guys shut up? I have like a hundred people watching me. And you're arguing about something that is not important. <laughs> and then my mom like had a comment back, oh, well, is KFC sponsoring you to stream that right now? And I'm like, <laughs> if they were, you're not supposed to say stuff like that out loud, first off. And <gasps> she just, you know, started messing with me while I'm on screen. Because you see I'm in my zone and she's just like trying to ruin it. <laughs> trying to ruin it. Yeah, that's the only thing. But as far as like... The like the the photo like I I knew from like the beginning how the panning was working out so I would make sure like the screen is forever like on something blank when before I touch stream just like I I that's just like a common not common sense not in a rude way but but like I know that it has this weird like capturing something yep. so I just keep it in a spot that's clean or <laughs> <laughs> Herbie is there anything regrettable uh, that you've uh, streamed or said or done or Witness? Um, no, no, so far so good. I mean, uh, it's been uh, like 99% positive so far. Um, I have nothing bad to say. I mean, everyone's doing their thing. Um, in the end of it, I just want to, you know, just let people know. It's just, you know, keep Meerkat strong. Keep Meerkat the way it is, you know. Uh, Cheryl, anything wild and crazy? Um, I think the funniest thing that ever happened to me was the very first time Chris and I streamed our jammy party. We had we we had done this jammy party thing for a while where we were um, 
streaming. We were in bed. We were in our jammies and just playing music, having a good time. And some somebody that was in the stream pointed out to me, um, they tweeted me a picture of our opening picture, um, you know, like where it shows everybody that's streaming. And, of course, this was before I realized the camera, you know, you have to place it right, you know, before your stream. And it was a picture of me, and I looked like I was dead. It was like, <laughs> you know, it was the stupidest picture ever. <laughs> and he tweeted that to me, and that was just, like, the most embarrassing thing, I think, ever. What about um, the Funky Fairy team? Anything, uh, anything, uh, well, was, okay, so they did the, they did the butt, the butt wipe. Uh, I'm trying to think for, well, for me, though, hmm, nothing, pretty much everything I do is regrettable. Um, <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes on Meerkat. Like I think that's what's important, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. It's not so much the kind of the really bad things, but the just the, you know, we've got things on our whiteboard that's to do with HR and people's, you know, various issues that are going on and stuff like that. We try not to show them, but general kind of weird shots and things around the office. It's what people like to see, you know. It's the it's it's the rawness of it. I kind of thought the same thing with this, even with the studio. Like, I was going to, like, set up, like, night, that, you know, we had people come in here, like, directors of photography, like, okay, set up this shot this way so it'll look like <laughs> this, that. I'm like, I just want to have the camera on the, like, a fl- literally, they're on the wall. Like, they're, like you, you, you get to see, like, a fly on the wall. Like, you don't get to see, like, crazy angles. Like, this is my office. It's not, like, a crazy studio. Like, I don't want it to seem, like, uh, un, you know, un, you know, ungenuine. Like, I want it to seem like there's, like, just like it's a webcam or just, like, a fly on the wall. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to hide anything. Like, I don't know. I'm doing. I'm b- getting better at framing on Meerkat though, because the screen is like so weird and stuff. So I just try to be like, I try to be nice and framed. But besides that, I'm just like, you know, I just want to put it in the corner and just be like, deal with it. Forget about it. Like people, I'm, I don't know. Like sometimes I'll walk up with little trousers around in the morning. Like it won't show <laughs> up. But like I might slip my little bum in the shot, but I don't know. It's on purpose. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta be careful, but. Um, Hey, I mean, other people aren't. The other people are fine. I don't have to get kicked off. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I love I loved so much about Meerkat. Um, I don't know. What kind of, cause, oh, uh, someone had a good question, too. Do, uh, I'm going to try to remember off the top of my head. Do you think, uh, the, the question was, do you think that the friendships we, we create now will be uh, le- everlasting ones? And obviously this sounds like a little, little loaded, but. Um, get it. You guys yeah, can mute it. yourself if you need. The funky fairy. The funky fairy is getting some business. Um, I don't know. How do you guys feel about friendships? How do you guys feel about each other? Oh, I definitely think that there's a a strong friendship. Definitely a strong bond between um, my friends that I've met here. Absolutely. And I think you'll you know if knock on wood if it it ever happened that Meerkat never wouldn't wouldn't exist. I don't think I would not be in contact with everybody here. I think everybody has Same been here. Yep. super special to me and, you know, and positive to me. So I wouldn't let go of these people for the world. Very strong Absolutely. Circle. And totally now great. you made me feel weird. Oh, I forgot Cheryl was still here. <laughs> Besides Cheryl. <laughs> oh, God. Curly stuff. Oh, God. You're always here. Okay. No, I don't like any of you guys. Let's be real. Aww. Oh. Aww, <laughs> That's not true. You guys know it. I have no real It's friends. because he made it, we made him feel weird. That's all. You guys, you did. He made me feel weird. I know. <laughs> I have weird feels too. It's weird. This is weird. Weird feels. <laughs> all these women ganging up on him. No, I like him. I, most of my friends are, uh, are usually women. Like this is the first time I have a lot of like like a guy friends. Like I have, I have like one of my best. I have like two of my best friends are are guys. But like I don't like my, my I don't make a lot of guy acquaintances. I don't know. I don't like other guys. They make me upset. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your gonna friend, beat me up. I'll be your friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sloan said he was almost home, so he was going to try to call in or Sloan, whatever. you're the worst. Stop ruining my show, Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. My son tries to get in on everything. Does she? <laughs> or uh, he, I should say. Yeah, it's... he's now my adopted son, apparently. <laughs> Who are some of your uh, favorite mirror catters? Let's we'll, we'll start with uh, Curly. Who are some of your favorite mirror catters? So little super mom. I love you. All of you guys, Bad B, yeah. um, Herbie, all of you guys are 
Aww. my top favorite. Yep. Same. Um, but as far as people who are not on right now, would be have to be uh, the Cody Vision um, yeah, with Cody. his wife Katie and Michaela. Those are right now my favorites. But I like everybody. I don't want anyone to feel left out. But if Her- I had to choose, Herbie, besides <laughs> all of us, who are some of your favorites? Who me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's a long list. Um, Besides sure. us, uh, well, definitely the Cody Vision. Okay. Um, I like uh, what Liza Dixon's doing. Um, String Story. Like pretty much, I I watch everyone. Oh, but no problem. Oh, I'm watching. Yeah. Like I feel it's really hard to have favorite to be yeah, like I, on here. I agree. It's really hard because if you try to pick like one favorite, then you might get in trouble. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about that too. That's what Meerkat Monday's for. <laughs> I, know, I do like Meerkat Monday. Yeah, that is true. I, I think if you if you take away the group of people that are talking at the moment, um, there's no respect, one left. Well, that's yeah, it. There's no one left. I mean, That's I, right. I, I have two people that, that I would happily stand up and say that are, are my two sure. favorite meerkatters. Um, the first one would be Voltrack, uh, Voltrack Sounds. Yes. Um, it's such an amazing, he's the only guy that's actually ever made me cry willingly. And that, that to me was a, there was a stream that I will never, ever forget of him taking that first step and streaming and watching that it was just, just so mind blowing. And, and I was so proud of him. I wish I could have been there to kind of hug him. Um, and then the the other one that that I actually enjoy staying up till three in the morning for to see her um, play the guitar and the piano is Elisa. She's just mm. such an amazing talent yeah. for such a young girl, and she and she just she just makes me go to bed smiling because she's so talented and and happy go lucky. I'm trying to think who some of my favorites are. Um, Here comes trouble. Uh oh. Turn your shit down, Joey. Hello? Oh my god, this guy's a disaster. Why did I invite you? <laughs> Turn your stuff off. Put your headphones on, too. We're, we're just wrapping up. I'm um, trying to think who else is uh, some of my favorite people. Um, hmm, I like um, Lee, 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 Lee Turner, the dog groomer. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty good too. I like Lee. Um, I'm trying to think. We actually have someone. Uh, uh, Rosie's take is on the line. I think Rosie's. You are you here? Rosie's take on country is here. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. You guys are so great. I've been watching you all, been kind of going into different streams to say hi, like, and retweet. Well, I appreciate it. And you also called my uh, called my iPad, so I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> that was love super to you. cool. Much love to you. Much love to you. Out there, like, where did he call in? So, thanks for having me. Hi, everybody. Everyone hello, is, hi. Everyone is saying hello to you. Um, what uh, What are some of your favorite meerkatters, Rosie's take? Well, I, I love Jeffrey Needles because I found him first. Um, I was turned on to Meerkat from Jerry Vaynerchuk, uh, and I am um, obsessed with Gary Vaynerchuk, and he mentioned Meerkat a while back. It was really just starting in Jeffrey. I caught one of his first streams, and I was, and when, you know, the interactivity happened, um, just where, you know, I'm liking, retweeting, and then commenting or asking a question, and he responds and says, hello, and says your name, I realized at that time, like, wow, this is something. So I really like Jeffrey a lot. I do love just the the, the immersion-ness of stuff, because, like, even, okay, so this is my one example. Like, I was, it was, it was hey, it was 420, and uh, I loaded up my stream, and, uh, oh, little, I was like, oh, whose icon is it? I clicked down it, Snoop Dogg is in my room, and he's just like, hey, let's hang out for five seconds, and it's just... <laughs> It was just, it's just so wild. It's just like I could have like a, I could have like a two minute conversation with Snoop Dogg. Like, it was that's really- incredible. He came into your stream? Yeah, he came, I was just about to start my stream. I was like just about to eat a bean burrito. And I'm like, oh, God damn it, Snoop. I'm trying to have a, I'm trying to eat a burrito right now. Let's have a talk though for thir- 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice though. It's incredible. It was. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, I loved it. Like, even like one night I was up in the middle of the night and Snoop was like just riding around LA 
And he's like, oh, I need to go in there and mess with the Irish guys in the pub. Oh, I don't have time for that. You guys want to go to a strip club? I mean, he was terrible. It was like he was in his car and riding around with him just for a few minutes. And, I, you know, I just thought I love it. That's why, that's why I think Meerkat is so addictive is, A, the interactivity, and just if it is a celebrity and they're reading your name back or whatever, it just, you know, it's, you just feel engaged. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Rosie's Take, agree. thank you so much. You can find Rosie's Take. What is your uh, thing? It's R at R-O-S-I-E-S, the way, R-O-S-I-E-S-T-A-K-E. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you. you Much love to you, Rosie. I'll be, I'll be watching your stream. Bye, Rosie. Uh, awesome. Thank Thanks. You. All right. So let's uh, continue with some. Okay. So I didn't mind. Who else? Uh, who are you? So, okay. Uh, Cheryl, who are some of your favorite meerkatters? Um, I already said I like uh, Lee Turner. Lee, Lee, okay, Lee, 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 Lee. Who did I ask? I, I'm trying to think. Joey. Or- Joey, who? Okay, so Joey uh, at Sloan Cat he is is uh he was on the list, but he said he I do have him in as a uh, late as a late person, but uh, he's <laughs> hey, coming, to, coming up coming to fuck up the show. Ooh, look at me! I have class. Look at me! I got my A grades. I'm late. You may have school, but you certainly don't have class. <laughs> Bong. Hey, yo. Who are some of your favorite uh, meerkatters, Sloan Ked? Mine? Um, well, I mean, obviously, besides you guys. Besides us. Because I literally watch you guys every day. Like, risk getting in trouble at work is to come hit like and retreat real quick. But, um, <laughs> um, I like Ray Brown, man. I, like, connected with him the other night. And he's just a, a real dude, man. He's seen the world. Like, I definitely want to have um, – I don't know some of the places he's visited and just uh, a part of my life to or a section of my life to be like Ray's because you know I mean he's seen the world he's lived in different countries and it's it's pretty impressive guy man he played seven instruments before he was like thirteen years old that's pretty gnarly to me. It is pretty uh pretty gnarly. Yeah, it's crazy. Does anyone else have any? Uh, I want to make sure I get. Does anyone else have any that they can think of now? Any favorite meerkatters? I've got to say before I forget, I will never, as long as I live, forget Mary streaming her cake. Yeah. And sitting there Peace for hours dove. on end. Peace, love, dove. To then see her turn her back and see the cake fall off the table. And I'm screaming at the top of my voice, Mary, the cake is falling. The, it's falling. And it fell off the table after three and a half hours of icing. Oh. Did not see that. That's oh, and then she stopped streaming for about half an hour and regrouped and then got some cake all back together and then spent another two and a half hours doing the meerkat cake. Um, uh, just testament to that lady to, to carry on going. Right, like five minutes. Uh, Sloan, mute yourself, you dirty animal. What did you say? <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, I'm trying. So I'm trying to think. So, who are my? Who really stands out? Like, I'm on the Meerkats. Like, again, besides all you guys, you guys are like, I don't know. It really is like a family thing. Like, I love the people like Herbie and Betsy. Like, they're not Mer- Betsy doesn't stream, but it's like a, it's they're like part of my family. Like, you get to see like the couple yes, together. Like, I agree. Herbie, Definitely, who are you? Man. What is? What do you love about everything, Herbie? We're talking. Um, we're just talking about you, and you're still here. I forgot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying the experience as a whole. Right? Like right now, I'm literally at the studio. I'm about uh, to talk to uh, Feet First Music. Uh, I want to tell him about Meerkat and stuff. And, uh, you know, right now he's helping uh, Christian, you know, uh, Slime Corleone, um, you know, be an artist right now. So it, it's uh, to a point where it's like I, I just, you know, see a lot of great things, you know, with Meerkat. And it's the same thing with, uh, you know, communities, like, you know, friendship, camaraderie. All the good stuff is in Meerkat, and the same thing with Lyft. You know, that attracts me to both platforms, Lyft and Meerkat. That's why I don't Uber or Periscope. It's a personal, uh, you know, preference of mine, but it keeps me the way I am right now, and you guys see it firsthand. So, trust me, definitely Meerkat keeps me humble, and I need that. I need Meerkat in my life, for sure. I need you guys in my life, for sure. And I feel like Stiletto Supermom also, um, when she said that uh, even if your cat was gone tomorrow uh, we still be friends we still be family we still be a circle and, and i'm definitely down for sure amen Hola. Hola front. <laughs> Hola front. does anyone have any uh any final meerkat thoughts 
Um, I do. Sure. <laughs> Shoot, Cheryl. Um, I want to give a shout out. I don't know how many of you guys were watching yesterday, but I have to give a shout out to my boy, my little brother Sloan, um, for what he did yesterday um, when he was streaming. Um, I don't know if anybody caught it or not, but he was. it was just after his class. And he was just kind of waiting for his ride. And um, there was a homeless guy that came up to him. And oh, asked fuck him you, Sloan. Money. Stop being so nice. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> kidding. It, was, it, it really touched my heart. So anyway, he said, you know, I don't have any cash on me, but, you know, I'm happy to go and buy you something to eat. So he's walking with this guy, and he's interacting with him. He's, you know, asking him his name. And this guy's, you know, telling some poetry that he had done. And, you know, he was a real person. And just to watch him do that, he went in, he bought him a foot-long sub and a drink, and, you know, it just really touched my heart and inspired me. Um, and I actually, as soon as I was done, I jumped on, I did a stream real quick, gave him a quick shout-out for doing that. And, I mean, he's an amazing young kid. He's 23 years old. And to do something like that, there's not many 23-year-olds that would do that. <laughs> and he really inspired me, and I came upstairs, and I decided I'm going to go through and clean out my entire closet, my entire dresser, and I'm going to get a bunch of clothes, and I'm going to take them down to the abused women's shelter, and I'm going to give them to them. So, I mean, I just, everybody needs to do their part to do something for somebody. So shout out to you, Sloan. That was awesome of you. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. My final thoughts is just uh, keep streaming, be real, um, meet new people, Spread the word, uh, you know, but most of all, have fun because we're all about having fun. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Do you Where's, give that props? Where's that prop? Oh, no, it's over here. <laughs> Curly, final thoughts? Um, yeah, don't be scared to stream. If you're watching Being Bystanders, just hit that record button and people will start flowing in. Don't get discouraged by the numbers either. Um, and mm -hmm. yeah, be unique. Um, do something different that no one else is doing and you'll be fine. You are what you say you are, a superstar. So have no fear. The camera's here and the mm -hmm. microphone. I can't license the song, so you guys know. <laughs> You're yeah, the best. I can't afford that stuff. I want to thank so much my returning co-hosts. Um, first of all, Slido Supermom. My pleasure. You my pleasure. Bomb. Curly Sophia. Woo. Herbie Mirren. Thank you so much for being you, Herbie. And um my new my new my new guests. Um I wanna thank you guys so much for being on the show. She C Barrel 1970. A uh started from the bottom, now we're here. She was always in my chat room giving me sex tips. And yep. um yep. now she's here <laughs> now she's here in my podcast. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, uh it's my pleasure. Also, um, the team, team, the Funky Fairy, uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you, guys. Your shirts are awesome. I was very glad you guys, uh, I knew, uh, I know Mr. Funky Fairy was going to join me, but I'm glad you guys are both here as a team. You guys are adorable. And, uh, I want to, I want you guys to adopt me. Oh, <laughs> love you, yes, yes. Consider it done. Oh, Christmas is going to be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That Slo would be weird, but we'll just stalk you. Is that cool? Absolutely. Uh, okay, well, perfect. Rob keeps saying husband and wife, and I keep saying no nearly, so you never know. We might have to throw an international meerkat party Ooh, wedding. Meerkat wedding. Yes, please. Well, don't, like don't screw it up with marriage. Just, 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 just lie. Just say you're married. <laughs> just don't actually get married. Just say you're married. Beef, so much cheaper. <laughs> so much cheaper. <laughs> well, Beef, beef kind of is like my big brother, so it's kind of a package deal. Yeah. <laughs> you See ya. You have the older. <laughs> Chris and I are actually going to stream our wedding when we get married. We are going to do that. Oh, that'd be very cool. Oh. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, Ben's live. Ooh. Ben's live. See ya. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's live, so we have to get going. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. Curly, no, no, thank you. the thank Funky you. Fairy, Herbie, yeah, Cheryl, no, Sloan, so Stiletto, all you guys. This was so fun. Um, what an awesome way to end the um, the month, the Funky, the what? The, the month of, of Meerkat. And I thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you guys so much. See you next. See you. See you on another time besides this. 
see you guys. This is Beer Radio, the best show on the internet that you are currently watching or listening to.